because when we first sent the cars out with no drogue chute, they're free falling at 175. And so those skydivers could never catch them. They had to be a part of the car when it went out. So he said, you guys grab onto the cars. Just run out with them and grab onto it so that its first initial drop, when it's gaining its terminal velocity, you're with it. And that was the key element that made it all work. The operators we have were all from the Red Bull Jump Team, and they were all very good at knowing which is up and which is down pretty quickly, and then just fixing the car in the way that we need it, and then getting away from it, because you can't hold on to the car and shoot it like that. You have to push the car away from you to get the wide shot that we need. And then uh, James saw what we did, saw what the angles of the car were, and just seamlessly dropped it in. Woo! Now we're moving. I worked with my really incredible second unit director with Spiro to tie it all together and try and make it cohesive. He had these great rigs at Danville for first unit and they were gimbals that were 15, 20 feet off the ground. So he had Dom's car in the air and it could tilt way down like this and move around and turn. And they started with the camera car 200 yards away and flying in at speed as this car is starting to drop like this and comes around, goes around it, and this car is turning like this and you come all the way in and you're in on vent. And it cuts so great with the footage we have. 